Tamara here, nice of you to join me. I have a walkthrough video for you today. Now this um, video, um, I'm going to show these papers. Now these papers I got from um, Dali Art and they're a limited edition paper pad but you can also get them download, you can get my words out, sorry. You can also get them as a digital download uh, from her store and I will put the link to them in the description down below. Uh, this one is called Dream of, the Ma of Magical Things and um, it's just a beautiful collection. It's very mixed media-y so you can add stencils on the top you can add your inks you can add your sprays you can add your um mediums all on the top of these and um it will just take it it's it's a truly a remarkable um paper but in true tomorrow style um i thought i would do a um mini album with them now i've done um an eight by eight album and i have to say i have loved doing this album I really have um, I like um, the size actually it is right up my street so um, you know look out for more of these bigger albums in the coming months so let's get on with the um, outside um, book so as I say it's an 8x8 I've used um, Stamperia and pentart um, wax pastes around the edges just to give it a bit more of a bit more bling. I don't know if you can see that on here. I've also um, gone round and just distressed inked the edges just to make it a bit more vintagey. And then the side, I've just left the spine. I've just left blank as I have the back. Now I um, had run out of papers for this book so what I've done is I've filled it out with what I call filler papers and they are just papers that I've got that um, from say the works or the range or somewhere like that um, that are um, generic they're quite um, plain so they will go with a lot of other things and I tend to use things like that if I've if I use Stamperia paper as well and I run out I tend to use um, these types of papers just to fill out my album so that I can uh, really utilize the images and the patterns of my designer paper more really so I've the closure what I've done is I've used some of the Pentart um, mixed media sprays just to ink um, I've got some sari ribbon here that um, I've just inked and then used some gold and some distress ink just to make it a bit more vintagey and old. But I love this is my favourite colour. I love this turquoisey sort of colour. It's uh, my f one of my favourite colours. So as we open the book, book up, uh, I've left again. The front page is plain, and that's one of those filler pages that I. Um, I wanted to show you uh, that uh, the, the cheaper uh, ones. Now I've also used um, a lot of the Cool Cats new dies in this book as well. So this is the a belly band. Again, I will link down below um, all the um, bits that I've used so that you can um, see what I've used. So. I've used them as instead of using them as a belly band I've used them as a closure so what I've done is I've just got magnets on the underside of the belly bands that just snap into place to keep these four sections closed as you can see so if you just want to open one you can and then it will just snap back into place so take it off and then it snaps back I quite like that idea actually a bit like um, a belt and then I've just um, what I've done on the inside is I've left the paper plain but then I've embellished the um, the backs of the um, the squares here and this is a pip art stamp um, that's been out for quite a while but um, I just do like to use that now and again if you wanted to put a photograph on there it's nice to have a stamp 
so again exactly the same on that side and then on that side and as you can see very mixed media -y, um, very inky very grungy you can um, see lots of things being thrown at this paper so it, the colors are just amazing they really are really up my street all these colors so we will close that up and again the front if I take that away um, is I've just paper pieced so that it's the continuous pattern on there so that you can see um, that so uh, and in this one here we've got um, a little secret pocket there in the top uh, with a photo mat in and then this is one of um, shock art is also Dali and Pip's um, range of papers. This is, I think, this was their first uh, paper pad that they brought out. But I think it thought it went really well. So I've kind of like, like thrown a lot of different things at this album, but uh, I really think it works. So we we'll put that back in there, like so. Now we we'll turn it over. Now I've got a little secret here, so. We'll pull, push that open and again that's just a flip pocket uh, or a flip flap uh, that I've used. Again this is one of the elements in the paper pad. So if you like this you can download it straight away and then use it, um, you know, print it out from your printer and then use it within the next five minutes if you so wish. So it's, it's quite um, nice having that um, sort of... Um, that option really to um, if you run out of a paper pad you could just reprint it so um, it's quite a good option I think so again these are the two these are the photo corner dies I think that's what they're called um, curved photo slot dies yes that's the these ones here and these are from cool cats um, becoming one of my favorite ever dies i will have to say um you get totally lots of different um dies within that um that collection there but uh squares for this um page really worked well and then the stamps here are uh, stamperia stamps and they are the imagine from the imagine collection um, another paper pad that I absolutely loved so you've got some journaling spots there that then is just housing my magnet uh, that little dot there to keep this closed and then another photo mat sort of there with the shock art um, paper there I really like that vibrant feel of this this actual page it, it really went together well so closing that up again more of the elements um, from the um, dream of the of magical things and again i've just put some photo slots in uh inside the uh, page but if you take them out again i've left that so that you can see that uh continuous pattern the actual pattern from the page so i think it really adds um adds to it really and again just extra photo mats there i'll stick that one in there and that in there Moving on to this page, we've got another photo mat here uh, with, that you can put photographs in. And then we've got a tuck spot here, uh, which I quite like, with extra photo mats. And um, this uh, design here, I've used my envelope punch board and I've created like the little... Um, cut out here and then I've also used it to create my tab pull here as well so um, again if you've got that envelope punch board you know don't just use it for envelopes so going over to the next page so we've got a tuck spot here and a tuck spot there and then we open up and we've got um, two hidden pockets with extra photo mats and then this um, round the edge, this is also from the Imagine uh, stamp um, collection. Uh, that um, one, I think there's a, there's quite a few different stamps on what on that one set. And then here I've just um, used that um, Pentart Media Mist and um, just a, a script stamp that I had just to create um, a bit more colour on that page. 
so flipping over this page is exactly the same as the page before with the tuck spots and the photo mat inside and then the last page uh, first time I've done this so I had to actually look up how to do it but I'm, I think I'm going to uh, make these a bit more in my, my uh, books I quite like this it's one of those um, sliding pages so you've got you open it out and you take that bit off and then you've got more space uh, space there for journaling or photos etc etc in there and I quite I love the colour of that page that's just uh, with the, the purples and then the, the turquoises and the greens going into the greys and maybe a little bit of red up here as well so it just all flows really nice and I like the script in the background as well um, so there's lots going on um, but it is as I say it's very mixed media grungery, grungy and again I've done the same thing on there whereas I've cut out the um, page and then just added it all together so that uh, it, it's the complete uh, page. You also get there's quite a lot of different elements in the paper pack as well so you get um, like squares that is it's uh, you get you get squares and circles with different images on so you get the bigger squares you get the smaller squares like these and then the even smaller ones here so there's quite a lot of em elements uh, that you can cut out and use so coming over to the back page and again I used some of the shock art uh, that was their first collection there very vibrant that collection is and then here is another um, hidden pocket again with that very vibrant um, shock art uh, paper and it, I think it's a real big contrast between this more muted to that but I think it, it um, having them both together you can really see the other colours popping out like looking at that there I can see this here this turquoise and the green just really like pop out at you uh, more so than when it was um, it's just on its own so um, I just I, I just thought that they went really well together and then on the back I've just got some uh, side pockets them slits that I've um, cut into it like so with the more photo mats there and then just again one of those small elements there that um, I've put um, to just bring that paper collection back onto this page here and again I've left the back page bare and inside you can see I've used the the gold and like a it's the gold and like a turquoisey sea green uh, wax paste um, I liked just liked the the different uh, effects that it gives like a hint here and there you can see hints of gold and things so I quite like that and then coming on to the back, as I say, that the back is um, plain. But if you were to make this album, you could just put your own little mark on the back there, um, your own stamp. So that was a very quick whiz through. I um, hope that you uh, have liked this um, this walkthrough album. Um, I've loved using this paper. It uh, is is really nice. I um, I might have to go and um, download. Um, some more and uh, make some more albums with it um, it's very versatile and as I say you don't have to just make albums with it you can put it into your own mixed media piece uh, into your journals as well and then just build on that picture so you know if you're into that or if you can just leave it a plain I mean you didn't even need to use the black you could maybe put it onto craft card or cream card or even white card would give this paper a total different look so thanks again for watching this set uh, of walkthrough I hope you would enjoy it please subscribe if you're not I'd love to have you as one of my subscribers come and follow me on Facebook and Instagram I'm on there I will put the links in the description down below also I have a group now on Facebook called Memories Paper Art um, come over there and then join in it's uh, not just for memory books but mainly memory books but um, we share other things in there as well like lots of mixed media pieces um, even um, 
things to storage in your craft room so yeah come over and say hi on there and join in and um, yeah it would be lovely to have you there if you could please share this video um, would be much appreciated with your friends and family um, would be brilliant so thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one